Greetings, my comrades, and welcome back to another glorious Mr. Slavinator video. Suka, bless! Today, we're going to be taking a look at this. It's a Chinese TF1 gas mask, and we're going to be... I don't think we're going to be unboxing it, we're going to be more unpacking it and then having a look, yes. So, I've came more prepared this time, you know, the last unboxing video was an absolute nightmare. So, uh, let's go over to the table and we're going to unpack this bad boy. Okay, so I'm thinking... Oh no, that just comes right off, okay. I want to keep this bag in good condition because I'm actually planning on uh, using it because I haven't actually got a proper bag for this gas mask. Okay, there we go, nice, smooth, and simple. Oh, I see the mask, let's get it out. Well, that was actually quite quick, I didn't expect it to um, go that smoothly. So, first of all, I don't know if you can... Oh, there we go. Right, so I think this one has come with one of these Chinese filters. I'll, um, I'll uh, unpack that as well. And here is the mask. So I'll get it out. Ooh, yes, yes. All right then, let's unpack this as well. So for those of you who do not know, the Chinese TF1 is basically a Chinese copy of the GP5. So I'm thinking we do that. Okay, I don't really want to rip it, so. Oh yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Bingo! Oh, wow. There we go. Right, let's put this down. Uh, feeling this. It's very weird. Oh, that, you can really see that shape. It's, it's a very modern rubber. It's kind of more silicone-y. Silicony, I don't know how you say that. Um, it's definitely, I don't know how to say it. it's more, I don't want to say wet, but it's very moist. So there's the XL valve. Uh, it's actually, it's plastic. Uh, that's normal. I think the eyes are actually quite a bit bigger, and instead of glass, they're plastic. Let me show you inside the mask. And I think the rubber's a bit thicker as well, feeling it. That's inside the mask. Um, it's, it's basically a GP5, so there's not really much I can say on it, because it is a GP5, just different. So yeah, and you can really see that shape, those shapes, these lines here. So I'll look at the mask in greater detail in a bit. Here is... I'm back, don't worry. Slavnator is here. It comes in this bag. For some reason, when I look at this bag, I think of Chinese food that I'd buy from the local superstore. If anyone reads Chinese, um, I'd be happy if you could let me know what this is, because I have no idea. So yeah, that's the bag for it. Let's have a look at the filter, shall we? Okay, here's the filter in its nice little packaging. It's got all writing on it. It is harder plastic. Oh, but that's cutting straight through. Happy days. Yes, there we go. See, I've opened it. There we go. And here is the filter. Oh, it's got something attached to it. I think these ones are refillable, so those are like instructions. Um, are these filters safe? Um, even though they might not have asbestos in, they do have a lot of charcoal, as you can see. So I probably won't breathe through them, because China. But uh, yes, there's the filter. So let me get the mask back and I'll show you them together and how they would fit together. Also, if anyone is wondering, no, this is not a military mask. This is a industrial mask, which would be used in factories and stuff like that. So there you go. There it is. Chinese TF1. 
These are on UK eBay for about £20. If you are interested in hood style masks, I would definitely recommend getting one. Would I prefer this over a GP5? Yes, because they're more modern. But uh, yeah, Chinese TF1. I will be back with another gas mask review, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching, my comrades. Suka pliat.